audience. Welcome. Oh, look at that <laughs> sink up there. That sink of unison bonus. Welcome to our play of Banjo Kazooie. An uh, old classic title. I've already got one. Save going. So we're going to be in the kitchen instead of in the bed. I thought we were going to start a new game. Yeah. Uh, these okay. are like. Oh, these are the different save these files? Are the saves. These yeah. the saves. Okay, I guess that's clever. This kind of stuff. I guess that's clever. With their selections. So Banjo and Kazooie. playing a Game Boy. Oh, wow, this game's so dated. So yeah. Banjo and Kazooie live together, right? Yeah, I mean. Because it kind of lives in Banjo's backpack. Okay. So... Does that make them roommates, or... Were they bumping fuzzies? I don't think they're doing that. <laughs> you don't need to bring that aspect into this kind of game, Connor. It's like, I, I want to know whether I'm supposed to ship these two characters or not. I'm pretty sure... Like, Dude, it's the internet. It's everything has been shipped at one point. Everything's been shipped. I actually had a... I actually... A friend, I was, we were, I was talking with, about Les Mis with a friend, and apparently she shifts Javert and Jean Valjean. I'm like, wow, okay, even classical literature can't escape the fan culture. Like it's Gruntilda. It's Gruntilda. Yes, you're right, I'm rather proud. My looks stand me out from the crowd. That's her voice. You can hear her voice. <laughs> <laughs> um, so Connor, uh, should you tell the story or should I tell the story of how... how would, you're, you're the one that brought it up. I think you should bring it. Bring up oh, me bringing it up? Yeah. Okay, so Connor and I were, were talking. I think it was like 12 or something when we started talking. You're it was like, 12 a.m. when we started you're talking. You're like, hey, Nick, yep, let's, let's talk about some stuff. And I was like, oh, okay, sure. Connor had some, some pretty cool stuff going on. I won't get into that, but, you know. Um, anyway, so the conversation went on a bit longer than it probably should have. Yeah, we were, it was at like it 4 a.m. Like 4.30 in the morning because neither of us had work the next day. The next day. Well, I think you had work later in the day. Well, I work really late. Not the day, next yeah. morning. And neither of us had school. Cause school's done. So you're we like, hey, let's... Uh, I, no, I brought it up. I'm like, we should play Banjo-Kazooie. You know, it's an okay game. And there is this fish level. I'm stuck on the fish level. I can't remember exactly what I said. It's like, I'm... You said, We're, I'm stuck on the fish level. I keep dying and suffocating, but you gotta go to a guy and eat his farts to breathe. Yeah, something like that. And I think your response was just, yeah, okay, that sounds cool, <laughs> something like that. No, I think my, my, my response was just, okay. Check, You're, you have your phone right there, you lazy. You, you can fact check all of this. Yeah, I can fact check all of this, but the question is, am I, am I lazy? Am I too lazy? Uh, probably recap the story here, because neither of us can pay much attention to it. Anyway, so... I, is there much story to pay... Play yeah, attention to? That's, that's Banjo's sister. And, uh, Gruntilda found out from her cauldron, or, you know, magic cauldron, that, uh, the sister is prettier than her. Yeah, because there's a mirror mirror on the wall sort of thing. Yeah, and so now she's gonna go kidnap him or her and s swap up the cuteness. Don't scratch and bite, my little bear. You'll soon need bigger underwear. So is she gonna make her fat? Yeah, like I said, like I mentioned to you earlier, um, when you leave the game, there's a game over sequence. And yeah. in that, you see um, what happens. Like, basically, they hook her up to a machine and then tilt up to the same machine. And it just, like, swaps them. Oh, so it just swaps the bodies? So, yeah, it makes one tilde look fabulous and, uh,. Okay. 2D, not so fabulous. I am trying to find you're, it. You're not nearly far back enough. Yep, yeah, I'm at 130, 1.40 a.m. That's today. <laughs> oh, wait, was this, this <laughs> that was today? Day. We talked pretty late today, too. <laughs> I think it's good to mention now that we're good friends. <laughs> Uh, really, they couldn't tell from before. I don't know, just in case. Sure is a strange looking I uh, hear it is. Oh, no, uh, my response was just, yeah. That was it. <laughs> yeah. 
And so his, his, your description was, and then there's a fish level, and I really had to really do much with the fish because I drown, and then you breathe in this guy's farts to not be dead from the water. That's what drowning is, Connor, being dead from the water. You're not wrong. <laughs> At least I had some amount of, like, I know what I'm talking about. Yeah. Anyone who's played the game knows what I'm talking about. Or they may have forgotten because, and they could be like, this guy's nuts. What Banjo-Kazooie is he playing? Yeah. Press A if you want me to teach you some basic moves. Or press B. I don't want any moves. I'm already good enough. Oh, wait. You bet we're good enough. Bottle brain. Ooh. Ooh, no need to be mean, Kazooie. Throwing... Never some... knew Kazooie was such a catty bitch. <laughs> Jeez. Um... No, they don't like each other, those two characters. Uh, Wee! Okay, I gotta remember how to do everything, actually. You said you didn't need any help, so you're on your own. Okay. Can you just let me go, then, please? I was just trying to see what the button is. Okay, that's an attack. Yeah, X is the attack button. Unless you're stupid. You just walk into them. I remember there was like some sort of special jump, but I can't remember how to do it. No, you can't do it actually, never mind. Uh, gotta get up there though. You know, for the time, I bet these were pretty good graphics. Oh yeah. This is like N64. Yeah. You gotta keep that in mind. Uh... Oh yeah, you can do it, okay. Do, 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 do. Bye. Um. Ooh, look, another one. See, this game. It's all about exploring and finding stuff and collecting these cool little doodads. It's very much an adventure game. I quite enjoy it. In the few times I've played it. Okay, I gotta remember how to do that thing. Oh, yeah, I screwed that up. <laughs> but hey, at least you can swim in this game. Yeah, it's not Assassin's Creed 1. Yeah, <laughs> Death by swimming. God. Um. Whee! Whee! Can you please fly, you stupid bird? I wanna go in here. Just go into the waterfall, kill yourself. I don't think you can die from that. I mean, you can die in the game, but not from that. Wow, nothing, nothing much happening. Yeah, he's, yeah. So is this just the point of the game you can just go around and collect honeycombs? Um, I'll see, like, oh, hey, there we go. Oh, there's a, there's an Oscar. I'd it's like to life. thank the Academy. Um, see, normally there's a tutorial at this point of the game, and then you go around and get all the stuff that I'm getting, and the stuff that you get is useful, so there's no reason not to get it, but, um... It's a little boring. Okay, fine. I'm kidding. Move the story along, you big meanie. Oh, hey, another thing. Never mind, I won't move the story along. I'll do what I want. I can't remember how to do it. How do I do what I want? Uh, this, 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 this. I tried that. There we go. Okay. Uh oh. You're stuck in the See, tree. The, the swimming moving it. It's kind of weird. Okay. Just get your face stuck in a wall. What the... Yeah. Camera angles are not on my side today. It's like the camera of a... It's like a camera in a Sonic game. Yeah, I was gonna say that, but then I feel like that'll not be uh, a very well-received opinion. What? 
I, in the 3D Sonic titles, it's universally accepted that one of the problems is the crappy camera. I mean, I think there's a few games where the camera was pretty alright, like... The Sonic Adventure games. It's not terrible. So you're ready to attack the witch now. Can you imagine this game, like, being voiced like that? Yeah. Cross the bridge to enter Gruntilda's lair. Look out for me inside. Good luck. I feel like that's something that would be done by some people. Bottle Boy is voiced by Samuel L. Jackson. Banjo is voiced by Ron Perlman. Yeah, see, this is the machine here. She can barely fit inside that machine. Damn. She has more than enough room to fit inside that machine. Oh, not holding back. <laughs> Let me go, you fat hag. Yeah, you gotta be blunt with these kinds of people. So I don't know why you wouldn't just pull the switch. Power is on. It's all good. You just pull the switch. The end. It's all done. Well, didn't he say it would soon be ready? So maybe it's still powering up. And the idea is we get to it while it's still powering up. I'm assuming that's the idea. There he is, the fun begins, my tricks and traps, we'll see who wins. Yeah, so will the rest of us. Alright guys, so, hope that, you enjoyed... Wait, that was an entire episode? Skipping the tutorial, the, the, the that the was That was a very entertaining first episode of Banjo and Kazooie. Well, you guys will have to turn in next time to see what the real action holds. Yeah.